Hello, Carlo. Have you seen my friends today? Mandelbaum, Diorlaf, Galadamont. I can't find them and, well, we were going to have a party tonight. I saw Delaf in here earlier today. He didn't say anything about a party. You might check the party tree up in Hobbiton. So, you didn't see Gala or Mandelbaum? No. No other mooters have been in the bird and baby today. Just Delaf. Well, I might as well have a honey brew while I'm here. A pint, please. He's tall, he carries two swords, you know. No, hadn't seen them. Uh, I was just thinking since you and Gala used to date, that um, uh, maybe you would, um, uh, maybe not... Uh... Gala broke my heart. A hundred years I suffer for every day we are apart. Ahem. Well, hello, Rosie. How you be doing this fine day? I was wondering if you have seen my friend Galadamont. Oh, why, yes. I did see Galadamont this morning. Now that you mention it, she was talking to Poppy Cotton about dresses. She was trying to decide what to wear to a party she was going to tonight. But she didn't say where the party was. You might try the ivy bush. Gala likes going there. Oh, that's right. Gala does like the ivy bush. I will go there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What brings you here by yourself? Oh, I'm just looking for some of my friends. Can't seem to find them. How about a pint of thistle belly? I dare say it's one of your favorites. Yes, please. But have you by chance seen my friends, Gala and Diorlaf, Mantelbaum? I've been looking everywhere for them. What? What? Well, no, I can't say that I have. No, wait. I did see Gladamant earlier. She was riding like the wind on the new horse of hers. It was all loaded up with, with small barrels of brew. <gasps> brew? I think she was going to buy one. Have you checked at the Green Dragon? No, but I will now. Bye-bye. Bye now. Hello, Barmy. Say, Howard Loam's down up at the ivy bush. He said that maybe my friends had come up here. You know, Gala, Mandelbaum, Diorloff, Peabody. Have you seen them today? Nope. Haven't seen any of them rascals up here today. But I heard there was going to be a party, though I can't say as I know where. Huh? But, Barmy, I've looked everywhere. Maybe they all went up to Bree. You know, the prancing pony. That's most likely where they'd be a-going, if you ask me. Well, you keep a lookout for them, Cable Army. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. No trouble at all. Good day to you. Hello, Mr. Butterbur. I'm wondering, have you seen my friends? 
Peabody, the wizard, Gala, the elf, and Diorlaf, a man out of the north. Well now, let me think. No, I haven't seen them in six months. Hope you find them. Come back soon now. The oftener you come, the more I'll be pleased. Huh, in that case, a mug of Stars of Old Cider, please. No! Get in here, you woolly footed slow go Do you have any good reason to think your friends would be here? Uh, well, no, not really. Well, then, I think you'd best be getting back to the Shire. <sighs> Surprise! 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 I started to wonder if maybe you had all been captured by trolls. Rosie, where have you been all day? We've been waiting for you here. Well, I have been in almost every inn in the Shire and Bree looking for you. Hey, Mandabom, where are your swords? I'm going to keep a good eye on my swords this time. I don't want to go through that again. Hey, Deorlaf. At your service and your families. Yes, that is a fine sword. Oh, he likes you. Hi. I'm, I'm good at skinning animals. Uh, nice, Bruno. Don't eat me. Rosie likes my bear Bruno so much that for her birthday, Bruno's gonna call up his sister, Brunhilda. And she's gonna come and stay with Rosie. Won't she be happy? Um, we're going to be eating soon. Do you think maybe Bruno could go outside and maybe you could bring in a smaller pet? Meet oh. Brunissimo! Uh, Hunter, I'm good at skinning it. Pluck and hide. <laughs> Don't, Don't you listen, dare! Brunissimo! <laughs> And bear hides included. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Deorlaf. But, uh, let's not kill any bears here at the party, okay? Yep. Peabody might turn you into something unnatural. Hey, is anybody hungry? Made a pie? Pie? Did somebody call for pie? Let's eat! Not bad! <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> I guess that meal was a bit spicy. Whoa. Smooth! A spicy meatball! Woohoo! <laughs> I think I'll pass on that one if you don't mind. I brought a proper 14 of 4 for all of us to enjoy. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, what do you think of my brand new cloak? Isn't it amazing? Oh boy, 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 boy! You wouldn't believe how many animals I had to kill to get those horns! Hmm, who's this? Are you from Rohan? I I'm known to your people. Is there anything to drink here? Gala, the soldier's thirsty. If anybody wants some, it's in the chest. 
1404. Hello, beautiful elf lady. Um, who's the dwarf? I don't believe we've met. He's brought us bad enough, of course, Natasha. Red, I'm almost in Skvato, Rosie. This calls for some ale. I'd okay. like to make a toast. Are you okay? <laughs> when we're finished eating and smoking, would you like to go outside and dance? <laughs> You'll dance with us, won't you, Deorlaf? Hey, how about a smoke? This is a great place for a smoke. <sighs> <sighs> Nothing like some old Toby after a long day killing monsters. <laughs> You have a pony. <laughs> Did Gandalf make these fireworks? Yes. Shall we go for a ride? Yeah. Okay. 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 Sure. That was fun. It was a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>